everybody. I'm a bit happy because I got a chance to get my photography portfolio, which has tons of stuff from my photography class uh, that I didn't wasn't able to get in the beginning of the semester. I have a I have one thing in here uh, that looks very pretty, but I'm not gonna put all of it. Okay. So and so I'm thankful for Jesse to let me know where to find my portfolio because I had no idea where to find it. What makes me sad about today is the fact that when I'm reading for class isn't very happy much. So that really brings me down a bit. But I'm trying to think about how happy I was yesterday to try to keep my mood up. Because I was happy yesterday. Just everything just was going smoothly. Not everything was perfect, but almost perfect. So um, classes were good and got stuff done. And castle and then celebration before midnight for Tyler's birthday. Happy birthday, Tyler. And just it, it was good. Today it hasn't very happy day because most of the classes that we've been talking about stuff it's just it's just depressing i don't know why and um i really have been trying to work on yesterday i was trying to work on getting people at least on facebook aware of the event that i'm trying to kind of create for hba um but also for my chapter for valentine's day and it's basically um this event I will also link below in the video. Um, it's just about showing the love and making people cheerful. Like right now I feel sad. If somebody gave me a little note of something, it would make me feel happy. But I mean, I think what gets me through the day is sometimes I get some friends that text me and that makes me feel better. And I had a friend, my friend Nikki, she texts me ever so often and that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, and, uh, what else? But anyways, just the idea of making Valentine's Day more positive, especially for people that are single and they feel sad and they feel alone. And, um, also just to show other people that you care. And so hopefully you'll join up, even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, if you're, or if you are a Harry Potter fan. I would hope you're a Harry Potter fan, but either way, still, um, I think it's a good event for everybody to do um, on Valentine's Day. For our theme week, we're supposed to talk about our favorite music when we were younger, or at least popular music that was younger. Anyways, I remember very clearly certain things like um, Shania Twain, one of the Shania Twain songs was really popular. Um, in Utah, plus this other song, boob da ba dee da ba da ba da ba dee da ba da. Yeah, that one. It's like I I recognize the song anywhere, but I don't remember who sings the song. Anyways, um, so those songs were like I I, I remember hearing about, and then. In sync and Backstreet Boys, even though I favored Backstreet Boys a little bit more than In Sync, don't know why, just did. And um, also Spice Girls and country music and also popular music as well, but um, mostly like jazz music when I was younger. And now it's just like a mixture of different stuff, like classic rock, popular music. Um, the music from like the 80s and 60s, 70s, and so there's just a lot of mixture. So, anyways, that's about it, and I hope uh, Tyler has a good birthday with his iPad, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.